Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ and you're watching Breakdowns and Body Bags. Hey, what's up guys? The band I am reviewing today is called Plan or Plan. I'm not sure how they pronounce it in Taiwan, but that's where these guys are from. It's awesome. Uh, I found them by hitting random on Metal Archives and I'm really happy that I did. This band uh, managed to release two albums. They're really good. Uh, at least uh, the one that I listen to is, which is called Third World Not Slave. And I found it on YouTube after searching for it. It's on an unofficial account. So I'll have a link to that account. I couldn't find Plan's official account. Maybe I'm just bad at YouTube, I don't know, but uh, I couldn't find it. And a lot of the stuff that I found was on their Facebook, but it was all in Taiwanese. <laughs> A language I couldn't read. Uh, so uh, it's kind of hard to find information on these guys. I did find a live video from them two years ago and uh, they look like just metal dudes. <laughs> yeah. The look of metal just kind of, you know, is the same everywhere. Anyway, so let's get into it. The music for this is actually really good. It reminds me of the old thrash that I like, which is what these guys are, they're thrash. They throw you a couple of curveballs with tracks like nowadays, having clean female vocals. And they also have a song that has big band swing happening in it. That was something that I was like, wow, this is fantastic. There's there's nothing really technically impressive about these guys. You know, the whole album sounds like it was recorded on one of, one of those like four track Casios that, you know, you recorded your garage band in, you know, back in high school when you guys first started. Uh, it's raw, it's thrash. And I mean, it's just something that I was really like every track, I was just kind of, I was ready to go. I was ready to, I was ready to get down. <laughs> They have another full-length album called Stop War, Stop AIDS. So these guys are obviously very politically driven. They obviously have their affairs in place and you know that's the message they want to send with their music, which is great. I'm sure it's just as good. I haven't listened to it yet. Uh, I would just listen to Third World Not Slave. I listened to this album like three times through just so that I could hear everything that's going on because uh, honestly, you hear something new every time you listen to the album. Uh, you'll listen through it once and you'll enjoy it. You'll listen to it again and you'll hear, oh, I didn't hear this like little bass kind of thing going on here. You'll start to pick out where they toss in those like trombones sometimes and just like I said that last track with there's an entire section where it's just big band swing it's ridiculous but it's great some notable tracks are uh, the eternities actually the intro track is very good uh, totally lost destroyed and nowadays if you guys want to listen to this band I highly recommend you check them out uh, I'll have a link uh, in the description to the album that I listened to these dudes from Taiwan they did a really good job. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Definitely comment if you've heard this album before and what you think, or if you haven't, and you went to go listen to it, please let me know what you thought. Uh, I don't know if anybody here is a fan of big band swing like I am, but <laughs> you'll appreciate it if you are. Uh, and uh, thanks for checking us out, and I will uh, see you next week.